look at the lineups and this midfield will miss the suspended Diego Simeone and the injured Juan Veron. Dan Stankovic comes into the side to partner the vibrant Carol Paborski, who's really shone brightly since his arrival at Christmas. Edinan Crespo and Marcelo Salas are Dino's off choices in attack. A change of manager, but no change of fortune for Simone Inzaghi, who's on the bench. Well, it's a settled lineup for the league's top scorers. Rui Costa's game in midfield is a major reason for the side's strong performances to date. And that, combined with a return to the high life for Enrico Chiesa, eight goals for him so far this season. Well, Fiorentina also have a sprinkling of older heads like Totticelli, Delivio, and the goalkeeper Francesco Toldo. So, understandably, coming into this match, the side is really brimming with confidence as the refereeing team trots out onto the park. The man in charge of today's match is Mr. Racobuto from the town of uh, Galarate. And they've seen some great performances so far this season at home, the Fiorentina fans. The disappearance of Gabriel Batistuta in the off-season had long since been forgotten as the Portuguese trio there of Rui Costa, Fernando Couto and Nuno Gomes get their pictures taken together, but they're all talking about Fati Terra and the Fiorentina coach. And the fans desperately want him to stay. Whether he will or not is still one of the many burning issues that need to be sorted out in this season's Serie A. Well, two teams in top four. And two teams aware of the need to keep up with Roma and Juventus as we approach the halfway mark of the season. Plenty of firepower on show as well. Suggests some fireworks in front of goal. Having said that, two fine goalkeepers on show as well in Francesco Toldo of Fiorentina and Angelo Peruzzi of Lazio. So a lot of questions to be answered in today's match. Lazio's recovery under Dino Zoff has been quite noticeable as when Joran Eriksson moved on in the last two games that Dino Zoff has been in charge has been back to winning days for Lazio. And ironically, Fiorentina in a similar situation with talks of the coach moving on. How will their form hold together with the extra pressure off the park? We shall see. A long ball up to Nuno Gomez. And that will be a throw in to Lazio. Alessandro Nesta knows that his normal partner at the back, Sinitsa Mihailovic, is not far away from returning to the team. That's a good run. Down the left-hand flank, and the tackle's been missed at Delivio. Can he keep it in? He can. Oh, great anticipation, though, by Nesta. Really realising that Delivio wouldn't be able to keep the ball if he did manage to keep the ball in. Back to Toldo at the Fiorentina end of the park, and that's offside. He's really enjoying himself again, Enrico Chiesa. Eight goals so far this season, most of them in the last ten games or so. It's beautifully brought down, the player going outside is Totticelli, cutting inside with a terrific shot. Well, fine work by the goalkeeper as well, Angelo Peruzzi. That was arrowing right into the top right-hand corner. Corner to Fiorentina, first of the game. Maurizio again called into action. Well, that was a great hit by Chiesa, who really does love to cut inside. Go. Goes to the ball again. It's another corner to Fiorentina. Early pressure coming from the home side with Chiesa 
at the point of most of the positive things going forward. And he will take the corner. Mister giving an eye on Nuno Gomez. And this one curled out before he came back in. Coming into this match, Lazio in third place, 27 points. But they're still six points behind the league leaders, Roma. Three points behind second place, Juventus. But at least they will be comforted with the fact that the top of the table has closed up a bit in recent weeks and Roma's massive lead has been slowly whittled back. Timmy of Frankie Stadium now a tough place to come when you need all three points a foul there by Giuseppe Pancaro oh, that's great work down the left hand side and a good pull back and Chiesa has mishit it it's played across the goal almost into the path there of Delivio well Fiorentina asking all the questions in the early stages. Oh, that's a nice pass from Delivio. And a good deep cross as well, just a little too deep for Nuno Gomez. And that's a long ball and a very good ball as well to Nedved. He just tried to clip it over the top for Salas. But he'll be a little disappointed there on say Nedved and Salas. That was a golden opportunity on the counter-attack. Chiesa it was who was hit the shot. It's an ugly looking tackle by Dino Baggio. stays on his line. Fernando Kuto just playing it across his goal. And Lazio just really running straight into trouble there. We're we'll talking Florence as we see Fiorentina come forward again and that's a little chip over the goalkeeper. Tough chance for Nuno Gomez. The ball just was played to him beautifully there by Chiesa. He just tried to chip it over Peruzzi. But it required absolutely perfect execution to get that one right. So still nil-nil, Fiorentina done most of the attacking Lazio really yet to produce anything in attack in this first half as Dino Baggio starts things off again going forward encouraging news for them is that Juan Veron his ankle injury is getting a little bit better as the ball breaks free to Nedviet and takes the shot on a long range effort but didn't really have Francesco Toldo in Fiorentina's goal overly bothered I don't think Fine shot to beat him from there. It was well wide. They told though Toldo threw himself at full stretch, more probably for the activity than any fear that the ball was going to go in the corner. He's had very little to do so far in this game. <laughs> Fati Terum, the Fiorentina coach, rejected the, the latest offer from the club in terms of a new contract for the future. Tends to have us believe that he will be leaving the club at the end of the season. As Nedved comes forward for Lazio and takes the shot. Well, a little bit closer, a little bit more zip on the shot at least from Pavel Nedved. Czech international has been 
great form and linked with Manchester United in England when the season's over. There's a bit more space about this game, but that's well cut out at the back. A cry there came from Marcelo Salas, and straight away Totticelli plays the ball out, which is sporting on his part. And the tackle is from Alessandro Pierini. It wasn't so much the first leg, it was the trailing leg that was the problem, the left leg. Just catching Salas after the ball had been played out. These two sides have an incredibly similar honour roll over the years. Fiorentina have won two league titles, the same with Lazio. Five Italian Cups and one Super Cup for Fiorentina, three and two for Lazio, and they both won the European Cup Winners' Cup once as well. And the tackle came in, but Nuno Gomez kept the ball. Still going, Nuno Gomez. This time, the foul's given by the referee. Well, he was pretty patient there, the referee, and in the end, Dino Baggio just tugged Nuno Gomez back. And the first job for Marcelo Salas will be a defensive one. Yellow card for Baggio. As yet, we've barely seen a touch of the ball to Lazio's big money signing in the off-season, Ferdinand Crespo. Fiorentina have several over the ball, and that's a great shot straight at the goalkeeper, but plenty of power from Paolo Vinoli. Well, only three in the wall, which is a little bit surprising. Maybe Peruzzi felt he just wanted to have a clearer sight on the ball. Nebbia playing it out wide. Lazio have three in the centre. Well, Pancaro is a fullback who spends most of his time as an attacking winger. Clipped into the near post, and that's easy for Toldo. That's the earlier cross. Crespo was headed towards the near post, just a little bit high for his foot there. Costa. Still going, Rui Costa went on his own in the end. Peruzzi called into action once again. Oh, what a fine season the Portuguese international Rui Costa is having. Four league goals to his name. Fiorentina, the top scorers in the competition. It's a mistake at the back, though, and Ned Viet is going forward on his own. That's a clever little ball. That's fallen nicely for Salas, who will keep going. Pulled it back on the volley. Ned Viet, that was a beauty. Well, he had a couple of shots earlier on that were well off the mark. But this one was hit absolutely perfectly. Well, the move broke down, Salas picked up a loose ball, and he just pulled it back to the edge of the area, unmarked, totally, was Pavel Nedved, and he struck that right on the laces, and it was, as you can see, perfect technique, and a fine goal. We 
we've seen it many times before where a team is under a lot of pressure barely doing anything in attack but they are the 11 to take the lead the Fiorentina must be wondering what they've done wrong here it is an injustice for sure but it is a reality that Fiorentina will have to deal with Olivio takes over, he gives the ball away. Lazio now keeping the ball with great aplomb. Giving it away, Chiesa can't keep it though. And that's a lunge there. And that play goes on. Free kick taken quickly, Delivio with a deep cross. Playing at the back is Nuno Gomez, and he's missed kicked it totally. Well, six goals so far this season for Nuno Gomez. It's a pretty handy start to your Serie A career. It's the sort of thing that. Won't do his reputation any good there. That was an earlier shot by Rui Costa. A good save from Peruzzi. And this is behind the goal. And what a goal from Pavel Nedved. Oh, look at this. A couple of players free on the right-hand side. Totticelli just plays it inside. Nowhere for him to go. Little chip is just handled fairly easily in the end by Peruzzi. A little clip there was from Amoroso, who got forward from the back. Day, day, day. Fiorentina aiming for their fourth successive win at home. They're unbeaten in their last seven games. time for the Fiorentina fans making headlines for all the right reasons the team only cloud I guess is the question mark over Fatih Terum's future no doubt that'll be sorted out over time Olivier trying to sort things out in midfield plays it out wide well, we've resumed to where we were before with all the pressure coming from Fiorentina Costa plays it out wide. Away by Fernando Couto. Now Lazio once again on the counter-attack. But Salas going out to the left and Crespo out to the right. Goal just before the break will be handy for Fiorentina. Well kept the ball there. Chiesa has come inside. Nuno Gomez takes the shot. Stankovic gives the ball away in midfield. Still time for something in the half from Fiorentina. Amoroso goes back. Totticelli. Trying to creep forward at every opportunity. Delivio, who's bobbing up everywhere, really. Right, left, and now in the centre. Got a chilly again. Oh, Poborski is a great inventive player going forward, but he's spent most of the half doing defensive jobs. Olivio. Little Costa takes over. He's spraying it out wide. I think he's overhit that one. Oh, it's well kept in by Totticelli who wins the corner. There's still time for something. About 30 seconds of the half left. That was the earlier tackle there on Sandro Kois. There was some contact with the ball, I think. 
player free at the back as course again played across. Now Lazio. Too long left in the half. That will go back to Toldo. Well, without a doubt, one of the paradoxes of football in the first 45 minutes here. Fatih Terim's men dominated territorially and they had far more possession than their opponents, Lazio. But at the break, he shakes his head and wonders how it is that he's going in. A goal down thanks to a great strike, by the way, by Pavel Nepied in the 34th minute. So at the break, it's Fiorentina nil, Lazio one. Welcome back to the Artemio Franchi Stadium, named after the long-serving president of the Italian Football Federation. No changes to either team at the half-time break. Fiorentina come into this game on the back of a 2-2 draw during the week against uh, AC Milan in the Coppa Italia semi-final. Chiesa gets away. In fact, it's Nuno Gomez coming into the area now. Just played across. And he's won himself a corner. from the crowd as the corner wasn't hit particularly well and Repka spreads it out to the left but there's no one there for Fiorentina <laughs> Olivia just helping the ball on nicely to Vinoli who switches it beautifully and it's run particularly well Chiesa and Nuno Gomez in the centre Punched away by Peruzzi. And that's a foul. The second half starting in the same vein as the first. And uh, Angelo Peruzzi, by far the busier of the two goalkeepers. Rui Costa with a testing cross. Peruzzi deciding to punch rather than catch. Karol Poborski who really has made a great start to his career at Lazio. Picked up a goal or two. Put in some great crosses to set up a goal or two. Making the most of a couple of injuries in the midfield. Lazio played across again. Well, that could so easily have been two. And Crespo applauds the cross and it was a great ball in from Salas with the outside of the foot well he may be a little disappointed with that Ernest Chris but didn't miss by much but a miss nonetheless Fiorentina fans worried about what they have called the Ericsson effect. That is a coach saying that he'll be leaving at the end of the season, drastically affecting the team's performance. So they're hoping to convince uh, Fatih Terum to stay and convince him quickly so that the team doesn't suffer. Rui Costa, shot blocked. Paborski. It's a great run, and he's onside here. One waiting in the centre, and that is a horrendous attempt on goal by Dejan Stankovic. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there, perhaps. Hit the ball with the outside of the foot. Great break on his part, though. Stayed onside thanks to an early pass from Karol Poborski. And a player waiting in the centre. It's an 
another poor ball out of the back and it's three on to two can Lazio make the most of this one this is a better ball this is Hernan Crespo and this is 2-0 Fiorentina, very much the cause of their own undoing there. We'll take a look at the trio that were launched on that attack. Nedved, Salas one side, Crespo on the other. It's daunting, isn't it? How do you stop such a wealth of talent? And Crespo made it look fairly simple in the end. But the poor defenders, Recker, exposed just two defenders onto three attackers. And a fine finish, and that's 2-0 to Lazio. And a chance for Toldo and goal. That's his eighth goal this season, Ernan Crespo. It's a deep cross, it's a good one, hits the post. Well, Nuno Gomez just pulled away from his marker there. Tremendous cross. Nuno Gomez again lining one up. This time the shot's blocked, and now Lazio again on the counter-attack. Four players forward onto three again. Salas this time. Poborski going outside him, but Salas goes on his own. And the shot was blocked in the moment lost, but Nedved picks up a loose ball. Poborski again. That's a deep cross. And it was Stankovic in at the back post, but he fouled his man. Well, so easily, that could have been 3-0. This is the earlier header by Nuno Gomez. That is a, just a great try. Great movement in the first place from Nuno Gomez to get the space, and he just guided it down perfectly. Costa combining here. And the cross could not be controlled by Chiesa, and Poborski comes away for Lazio again. One of these quick counter attacks. Incredibly open game here. Rui Costa now. Just snuffed out by too many white blue shirts. Stankovic to Baggio, Pankaro out wide. Baggio now spreading it left. This is better from Lazio, Nedved. Who takes the shot on his own and Toldo watching closely. seen Pavel Nedved cut inside onto that right foot all season, so he was almost waiting for that. And Costa. And that's a corner to the home side. They need more than corners, though. They need goals. Hit drag, Miatovic coming on for Totticelli. He's scored too many goals for the club. And he has got the honour of scoring the winning goal in the Champions Cup final a couple of years ago for Real Madrid. They can't take that away from him. He's been disappointing, in truth, in Florence, really. He really established himself in the side. He's picked up a lot of injuries see what he can do in this situation. There's Thomas Repka coming forward from the back. So Fati Terum has taken off the fullback and brought on a striker. Again, just playing it in behind the fullback. That's a fine ball to Crespo. Oh, 
Arepka not particularly impressed with Crespo's fall to the ground there. There's a fair shoulder to shoulder. Cheek to cheek, of sorts anyway. Fiorentina knew coming into this game that a victory would see them climb above Lazio on the table. That would be a real feather in their cap at this stage of the season. It hasn't turned out to plan so far. A lot of players back for Lazio. Seem to get a lot of players forward quickly on the counter-attack as well, as we see here. Nedved. That's behind the fullback again. Crespo chasing. Couple waiting in the centre. Crespo can get the ball there. Still Crespo. Still Crespo. Oh, he squeezed it in for a marvellous goal. Well, I think by virtue of the fact that he had so many other choices, it was a significant distraction for the two defenders that were back. And Crespo went it alone. That was the incisive ball from Pavel Nedvia. Crespo onto it like a flash. But plenty of work to do from here. Squeeze past the first defender. And again, just squeezed it under the goalkeeper Salas was waiting in the centre but not required and Pierini had a couple of goes at Crespo there couldn't get to him and Toldo in the end well got plenty on the ball but not enough and that is 3-0 to Lazio So Fiorentina's home record now has come crashing around their ears, really. As Roberto Baronio has come on for Lazio while we were watching the replay there for Dejan Stankovic. <laughs> Baronio is straight into the thick of things and goes down under the challenge from Delivio. And Salas will put the ball out. Roberto Baronio struggled to make the starting 11 here at Lazio, whether it's Ericsson as coach or Dino's off. A little jump into the tackle, really, from Delivio. Baronio, very much a star playmaker of the Italian Olympic team that was in Australia recently. Oh, and it's just come off the head or the knee of Crespo for his hat trick. Rotoldo's demanding the flag from the assistant. But Poborski's cross was another good one. And off the foot in the end it was of Crespo. And Dino's off. Has calmed the stormy waters at Lazio. Oh, that was brilliantly anticipated by Salas. Going through on the goalkeeper. Still Salas played it across. Oh, he's put it over the top. Crespo for the hat-trick. Possibly the easiest chance he's had all day. And Salas, who had every right to go it alone, must be wondering why he didn't. challenge in the area there and it's a penalty to Fiorentina Let's just see on the replay what happened here it was the challenge on Enrico Chiesa well, 
Peruzzi has that wry smile on his face. Fernando Couto still arguing, but Fiorentina have a chance now to, dare I say it, stay in the game, despite the fact they still need another two goals. No surprise, Chiesa the man for the job. And he's scored as well. So 3-1 now to Lazio. Chiesa takes his ninth goal of the season. We'll take another look at the penalty attempt there. Very uncertain to see whether there was any contact or not. Studs definitely showing by Fernando Couto. And a solid penalty from Enrico Chiesa. Well, Poborski's beaten the offside trap. He's played it across. Good stop, Toldo. Crespo lets it bounce this time, just taking a little bit more time. And Nedved blasts over. Well, another goal now to Fiorentina would really throw this game open. Be a tremendous finish. But one to Lazio, and it would be all over, really. Crespo, in the end, decided to bring Nedved in. Moronio getting involved early. Space on the left-hand side for... Nedved. Crespo. He's got Salas free. This is Salas, and that's a great finish. Well, he made that look very elementary indeed, Marcelo Salas. showing Fernando Crespo how to do it. Brilliant the way he just stayed right on the last defender to stay onside, not tempted to push forward like many other strikers would have been, and struck with such precision. Never any doubt once the ball left the boot where that was going to end up. And Crespo now has two goals, plus one assist to his name here today. Simple save really for Peruzzi as we move into the final stages of the game. And Costa forced to try one from a long way out. Think your people now are starting to make their way out of the stadium. This is not the home form that the fans are used to here. 4-1, Lazio lead. say we could expect quite a few goals in today's game but no one really suspected that it would be so one-sided the scoreline Dani just switching the ball over four minutes left on the clock enough for three goals from Fiorentina but certainly enough for one more from Lazio Mauro Bressan Moronio Kaborski in space Poborski. Oh, that's a great turn by Karol Poborski. Just didn't quite have the 
quickness of the speed off the mark there to get onto his own bit of trickery. That's a foul on Amoroso. Any second now for the final whistle. Ruzzi beaten to the ball, chance for a late goal from Fiorentina, just across the goal. No one there to finish it off. Very much the story of the afternoon for Fiorentina. Veronio loses the ball. It's picked up again. Now Lazio come again. Still time for one more, perhaps. I have to be quick. Baborski. Well, Fiorentina will walk off the pitch just wondering quite where it all went wrong as we take a look at that final attack on goal and a good save by Peruzzi in the end. Well, they certainly had the lion's share of possession for most of the game. But it's Lazio who come away with a stunning victory here. Pavel Nevyed got the opening goal. Ferdinand Crespo then scored two to make it 3-0. A Chiesa penalty followed by a late fine strike by Marcelo Salas. And Dino's off. It's three wins out of three for him.